In this video, I'm going to discuss a very, very important point regarding Amazon PPC, which most of the people skip and later they end up paying more money to Amazon PPC against the result which they can get after the less spent on PPC. So basically, if you also want to spend less on your Amazon PPC and get more great results and sales from that Amazon PPC campaign, then make sure to watch this five minutes video completely till the end step by step because this short tip can actually save you a lot of money from the Amazon PPC and can help your Amazon PPC campaign to work more fast and more efficient manner. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and a cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I have already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now and from here I have opened my Amazon Seller Central and my Amazon PPC Campaign Manager. So you can see that on this account, I'm only having one product and in front of you, you can see the results for the lifetime. You can see that if I scroll down, you can see this is the lifetime results from this Amazon PPC campaign manager. And if I go above, I can show you the stats. You can see there the total PPC spent is $26,000 and the total PPC sales are $67,000. So remember, these are not the total sales, but the PPC sales. And if we add the organic sales plus PPC sales, then we can get the total sales revenue number. So after spending up to $26,000, my A cost is 38% and I have got 1954 sales. So now at this point, after seeing these great results, the question comes here is how I achieve these results. So the answer is I basically create my PPC campaigns and after creating those PPC campaigns, I make my selection of keywords very strong and very precise. And after selecting all of those keywords, I not only run the PPC campaign, but I visit on my PPC dashboard daily and I keep tuning those campaigns as per the keywords who are bringing me sales and I regularly put all of those keywords into negative targeting who are not bringing me sales after the spend of one week. For example, if I put the five keywords in one campaign and three keywords are bringing me sales, but two are bringing me only clicks, not the sales. So that means after testing that campaign for one week, if I'm not getting clicks or I'm not getting sales from that keyword, so that means that keyword is not basically working for me. So I can put that keyword into the negative campaign for now. And later after two or three months, I can just test that keyword again, because sometimes it happens that some keyword don't work for you right now, but later after some months, that keyword start working again. So basically putting those keywords into negative targeting doesn't mean that you don't need to ever use them again, but it means that you are basically temporarily closing those keywords and not allowing Amazon or stopping Amazon to spend money on all of those keywords. So in reality, what will happen is Amazon will limit the spending of money of your campaign on those keywords and divert all of the budget to those keywords who are bringing you sales. So in that way, your campaign e-cost will be low and your campaign will perform more effectively. So now I'm going to show you how you can actually do this. So if I go down and if I zoom a little, so from there, I need to find out the campaign, which is bringing me a lot of clicks and a lot of sales. So you can see that I have just clicked on the order section now. So by doing that, I have basically sorted this list into descending order. Like on the top, I am having those campaigns which are bringing me good orders. And on the bottom, I have those campaigns which are bringing me less orders. So basically, if I see the second campaign, which have got me 522 orders, like after spending of $6,000, it brings me $18,000 sales. And this campaign is still running now. So I can just take the example of this campaign to just show you how you can actually tune that campaign how you can find those keywords which are bringing you sales and how you can find those keywords which are not performing good and how you can actually put those keywords into negative targeting so later amazon will not put money into those bad keywords right so if you want to see those keywords you need to click on the name of this campaign and after clicking on the name, you will be able to see the ad sets for these campaign. So sometimes some people use different ad sets or create different ad sets under one campaign. But in this campaign, I have only created one ad set. So you can see that this is the ad set which I created in March 2022. That's why it's named that. Uh, so you can just click on this ad set. So after clicking on the campaign name and ad set name, you will be able to see this result. So basically, this is the performance of this particular campaign and this particular ad set. 
you can see that the return on ad spend is 2.84 the impressions are around 600k and the sales are around 1800k right and if i click on add metric so i will be able to see some more metrics like how many clicks 4000 what is the cost per click like 1.59 dollar i am paying for one click and you can see that the click through rate is 0.70% and the A cost is 35.18%. Basically, all of these points are actually important for you, but I have discussed all of these points into my other videos. Because for this video, we are only going to see how you can find a good keyword and how you can put bad keywords into negative targeting. So now from this point, after clicking on the ad group, on the left side bar, you can see these steps like targeting, negative targeting, search term, ad group settings and history. So now at this point, these two tabs, negative targeting and search term are basically useful for us. So from this tab, search term, we will find all of those keywords which are performing good and bad. And then from this negative targeting tab, we can put those keywords into negative targeting which are not performing good. So if I click on search term, so here I will be able to see all of those search terms like all of those keywords which I have used in this campaign to target. So you can see that these are the keywords like bath bomb for kids with surprise, bath color tablet for kids and so on. And if I scroll right and top, you can see that these are the number of clicks which these keywords are bringing and these are the number of orders. So if I click on orders and then click on orders again, so it will sort my list as per the orders. And if I just put the filter for past 60 days because it is set to 30 days, uh, like 23 July, so from 23 May to 23 July, if I put the filter for 60 days, like 2 months, so I have got the data for two months. So you can see that this is the sorted list. And on the top, I can see this keyword, which is Pokemon Bath Bomb. So basically this is the main keyword of this campaign, which is performing good. And after spending $1,600 on this keyword, it got 771 clicks and it got 93 orders and total revenue was $3,171. So this is a super keyword for this campaign, which is performing good. And the second keyword is Pokemon Bath Bomb. Third keyword is Pokeballs Bath Bomb, which have got three sales. And the fourth is Bath Bomb for kids with surprise. And if I just go further down, then I can see one, two, three, four, Four, five these five keywords has spent but not bring us sales so you can see that here you need to understand the thing uh, you can see these are the keyword have got one click one click one click and 14 clicks but unfortunately no order so basically I consider these keywords as bad keywords for now because this keyword has got one click after spending of $1.94 this keyword has got one click after spending of $2.28 and after spending of $16 this keyword Pokemon bar has got 14 clicks but no sales. So basically right now what I have to do now is I need to copy all of these keywords one by one and then go back on this negative targeting tab and here I need to click add negative keywords and then paste that keyword here and click on add keyword and after adding that keyword i can just put all of those keywords one by one here like in a new line and click on add keyword and once all of those keywords will be added here you can see that the match type will change to negative exact so after putting all of those keywords here adding those keywords here you need to scroll down and click on save so when you click on save so you can see that that keyword has been added to negative targeting so now you need to click on OK and from now on this campaign, Amazon will not target that keyword and will not show the advertisement of your listing to the people who are searching that keyword on Amazon. So basically this is a super cool trick to not let Amazon spend your money or waste your money to those keywords which are not performing good or which are not bringing you sales. But as I said earlier in this video that that doesn't mean that these keywords cannot perform better in future. You can just still try out these keywords one by one by changing the match type or changing the bits of that keyword into the new campaign. Maybe if you change the bit of that keyword according to the competitiveness of that keyword, you can get that keyword perform better. Because if I go back on search term again and I show you the bits. So here it is another tip. You can see that the keyword Pokemon bar has actually got us 14 clicks and the bid here is $1.08. So if I just copy that keyword Pokemon bar and go on amazon.com and paste the keyword here Pokemon bar. So all of those results I will be able to see on my screens are this. So you can see that I know that this keyword is not exactly relevant to my product. That's why I can see some other products on this here. And after typing that keyword Pokemon bar, if I zoom in a little, you can see that on the left side, I'm only be able to see one to 48 listings in front of me on the first page, but there are over 2000 results present for this keyword. So that means 2000 or more sellers are actually selling on this keyword. That's why this 
this keyword is super competitive and that's why this keyword is having bids more than one dollar so now after searching that keyword on amazon i am able to know that this keyword is competitive and it's not good to keep spending my ppc money on this keyword because there are more than 2000 sellers selling on this keyword that's why this keyword is too much competitive and if i even increase this bid from 1.08 dollar to 2 dollar then it will get clicks but no sales so it's not good to spend money on this keyword however i can find some more keywords which are super relevant and which are having less competitor on that keyword on amazon so basically if the product is less competitive so i can actually get good clicks and good sales on a lower bid as well like 0.5 dollar 0.8 dollar or even 0.9 dollar so now i hope at this point you're completely aware about the keyword your competitiveness their bids and how you can actually find good and bad keyword and how you can actually put those bad keyword into negative targeting so right after watching this video go there find out your best performing campaign and try out this method on your campaign like putting some bad keyword on negative targeting and putting some new keyword into positive targeting with the low bids and low competition so your ppc can also perform good and you can actually spend less on your ppc and get more sales and more revenue so that's it for today guys i hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it so if you find my content really informative and helpful for you then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well so you can watch more and more videos like this in future let's meet in the next video till then take care bye